Hi everybody and welcome to this dose of Dr. E and Dr. P. So today we're talking about continuous glucose monitors, CGM, in people with type 2 diabetes. So Steve, um, this is such an important topic, but let's start with why does CGM matter? You know, I think a lot of our listeners know that, but we got to review why is it important? Yeah, I mean, because CGM allows us to get a much closer look at how our diabetes is doing. So, you know, everyone knows what a finger stick is and we all hate pricks, right? It tells you a blood sugar at one point in time. Mm -hmm. And uh, CGM allows for a glucose value every five minutes. It's got trend arrows that tells you if you're going up, you're steady or you're dropping, which mm -hmm. is super important. And they have alerts and alarms. So it can warn you before you get to a dangerously high level typically no symptoms at that level. And it definitely warns you before you get to a low level. And of course, we all worry about hypoglycemia, whether you're type one or type two. And I think it is about time yeah. that we're focusing in this technology for people with type two. Yeah, and so thankfully for us type ones, it's been around for a while, right? It's kind of standard of care. You got me on my first CGM in 2010, so almost 15 years ago. And back then it was a real struggle for us type ones. It wasn't covered. People thought it was too much information. It was just kind of some fringe technology. They didn't need it. Um, and we're still having those debates in people with type two now. Oh, it's gonna be too much. It's too much technology for them. It'll confuse them and frighten them. I mean, it's ridiculous. So tell us about the evolution to type twos now. Yeah, well, basically you're, you're right. I'll just add on one quick fact is that not too long ago, um, if you had type two diabetes, you can only get it covered uh, your CGM covered if you were on multiple daily injections or an insulin pump. And then it transitioned to, and that was great, not mm -hmm. too long ago. If you're on basal insulin as a type two or just one shot a day, could be fast acting with any meal, but typically one shot means basal, then you are eligible for CGM. Mm -hmm. Now it doesn't mean you're gonna get it like that when you <laughs> your doctor prescribes it. Every insurance company is different, but if we follow Medicare rules mm -hmm. and that opens the door. But you and I have felt for a long time that any type two, no matter what therapy you're on, would benefit greatly from having these numbers to see what happens to you throughout the day doing lifestyle modification even. So, you know, Jeremy, you had some good thoughts we spoke about yesterday. You know, how do people with type 2 not on insulin benefit from this technology? Well, yeah, I mean, so yes, we uh, believe that anybody with diabetes could benefit th from this, and even people with prediabetes. But right now, it's approved, you can get it covered if you're on any kind of insulin, basal insulin, meal time. So if you're listening, you have type 2 and you're on insulin, ask your provider. Because I think a, a lot of time the providers don't even think about it. And we need to encourage them to do that, empower you to ask your provider for it. And when you ask, you don't have to know the names of the different systems, but there are choices now. They all have their different kind of pluses and minuses. So what are some of the choices people should know about? Yeah, we, you know, choices is key. We're all different. We all have different needs and wants. Uh, and here are the choices of the CGM devices on the market today. So there's the Dexcom G7. There is the Eversense implantable six-month sensor. The Libre 3 is their most recent edition. They also have two, two plus, three, and three plus, if you can believe that, uh, different options. And then there is the Guardian 4. Uh, so You know the, what I was going to say while we're talking, too, is kind of a new evolution is that a lot of uh, offices will have samples now. That's something we didn't used to have that long ago. So you could go to your provider, get a sample of this, and now these are generally prescribed through your pharmacy too a lot of the time. So it used to be you had to mail away and like it was complicated. Now you get them just like you do your medications, um, which makes it easier. The samples is a great thing. Hey, I just want to try it for a week, see how I think about it. Um, but we, things are continuing to evolve. So we don't want to be limited by what insurance covers or whatever. We really think everybody should get this technology. So what's the latest evolution in terms yeah. of access? Well, as of right now, we well, access... Well, just right now, we need a prescription, I think is what you're going to say. Yeah, you need a prescription, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Now, we're going to end with the future, which mm -hmm. is not too far in the future, which is over-the-counter CGMs. So both Dexcom with their Stello, mm -hmm. they call it, 
and Libre with their lingo, it's going to be over the counter CGM. It's going to be specifically designed for people not on insulin. Mm -hmm. So they're thinking along the same lines that we are, that we thought this five years ago, mm -hmm. but about time they're catching up. And you'll be able to get it over the counter and it won't have all the alerts and alarms that are needed for people on insulin. I mean, it's kind of a no brainer, right? Just like you can get your meter and your test strips over the counter, why not be able to get you know the CGM too? So we're finally there. It's just a better way to check your, your blood sugars, period. Yeah, and we hate pricks at TCOID. <laughs> we don't we like didn't hear it the first time. You know, you just wanted to bring back that joke. I liked it. Well, I like the way you laughed at okay. it the second time. Thank you. All right, we're done. See you. <laughs>